how to list products on Wix. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a store into your Wix website and integrate it. Also, how you can list some products or items. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Wix.com. Then you are going simply right there to sign in on the platform. So as you can see, we are on the site's dashboard. Here we have the list of the website that we have already created. So I'm going to visit or choose one of the website that I have. Then we are going to set up the store for it. So I'm going to click on select and edit site. But before that, if you don't have a website yet, or you don't want to apply the changes for the store into one of these websites, you're going to click on create new site and proceed with the new website here uh, from the Wix editor. Now I'm going to head over the website dashboard. It will load up here the control panel of the website. And from here, you're going to see here the items or the menu items of your control center. Now make sure that you have added the payment method and the shipping profiles if you are going to here set up some digital or physical products. Now we are going to click on design site and this is the uh, website that we have. Usually it will take a little bit of time right there when you click on this button to load up all the elements from your website but I have as you can see preloaded everything. Now, once you are here, as you can see, we have the uh, Wix store added. I am going uh, simply right there to let you see how we can integrate a store or a shop. So we are going to click on the plus element right there, add element on the left side of this menu, or you can go ahead and click on add apps. From here, you're going to click on there. Then you are going to see a mega menu that contains all the elements that could be added to your website. Simply, you're going to head over store right there under the blog. Now, if it is the first time that you have visited this and you don't own a store, you're going to see here a panel and labeled Wix stores and you're going to see the button add to site. So I'm going to let you see that on the uh, Wix app market. We are going to visit Wix app market. I'm going to let you see here the logo of the uh, stores. stores. And here we have it. So I'm going to let you see here the uh, logo or the official logo of it. So this is it. So you are going to get this banner and also the uh, title, the rating and the option to add it you are going to add to site instead of add again. Once it is added to your website, it is going to be here in a page. So you are going to visit and manage the site pages and menus. You're going to see here store pages. So you are going to see here a home page, a product page, a car page, and a thank you page. So right there, I'm going to visit the product page. We're going to see the products or the listed products that we have on our store. I'm going to exit that. And here we are going to see the uh, product page or the landing page of the product. You can go ahead and select uh, the product from here by clicking on the drop down menu and preview here your product. You can see that we have everything set up, uh, but a little bit buggy. So it doesn't matter how we can add a uh, product here. So we are going to head over the Wix dashboard again. From the left bar or there or menu, we're going to see here that we have sales, catalog and portfolio. These three items are above each other. So we're going to select here catalog and we're going to have here a uh, glance to the store product. We're going to see all of the listed products. Some of them are fake, as you can see here, just for the demonstration. And some of them are real, like this one and that one. And how we can add a product, we're going to click on new product. We have the option to create a physical product or a digital one. 
So we are going to click on a physical product. You are going simply right there to fill up the spaces or the required fields, like setting up the name. Do not forget to add images, also videos to your product to present it correctly. Add up here a description. You can add some uh, additional information like the specs and the quality or materials used. We have here the pricing the uh, on sale option that you're going to set up for uh, marketing purposes and here we have some custom text for example if you are going to add something that could be set up uh, or uh, like a, a pod or print on demand uh, product so you are going to uh, set up here a text box so the client will here put a description of the what they want so for the product option, you can go ahead and set up the options like the sizes. If you are going to uh, sell some clothes, weights, or you can go ahead and set up the colors. These are called the variations. Now, for the inventory, you can go ahead and keep the track of your inventory by setting up. Also, you can go ahead and set up a SKU code and a shipping weight. You can enable the pre-ordering process also, you can go ahead and create some subscription for that specific product. Now, for the advanced settings, you can set up here the product tax group, the fulfillment right there, and the brand name. If you want to hire a professional right there to create or design the store product pages, you can go ahead and click on Get Started and hire up right there a professional. Now, don't forget to add the category for your product. Now I'm going to cancel this step for this product. I'm going to let you see how we can add a digital product. From here, you're going to see that we can upload the digital product, create a category, of course, set up everything about that product, images and videos, pricing, and the inventory, for example. And this is it. Now let's go back here and cancel everything. We're going to head over the settings. I told you before to be able to collect payments you're going to click on settings accept payments and then you're going to select the business location and based on the business location you're going to see here the payment methods that are available so if you don't see here the payment method that you are in or you want to add you can go ahead and see more payment options and see the third party apps or providers so go ahead and select one, connect it, and boom, here we have it. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.